Off to the deck. Submerge the ship. Submerge the ship. Diving officer. Submerge the ship. Submerge the ship. Dive I. Chief of the watch. On the 1MC, pass the word. Dive, dive. Sound two blasts of the dive alarm. Pass the word. Dive, dive. Dive, dive.
Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Wildwell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucer. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group Headquarters at Rockwell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs which landed on a ranch outside Rockwell. The disc landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. W. Grizel is the man who discovered the coffin. Colonel William Blanchard of the Rockwell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disc looks like. He said that it was so fast that he was unable to determine whether it had a disc form, but he does not indicate its size. Rainey says that so far as can be determined, no one saw the object in the air, and he describes it as being made of some sort of tin form. Other army officials say that further information indicates that the object had a diameter of about 20 to 25 feet.
Surface, surface, surface. <laughs>